going on everybody? My name is Papa Cleberson Bambilizano and this is my brand new ship. Don't jump in! I don't know, Gary's a little unpredictable sometimes. He does crazy stuff. Okay, so Mr. Gary, we are gonna tie you up right there and hopefully you, you, you don't escape because I mean, I mean, you're about to be able to escape so just give, give me a couple minutes. Okay, so I have this beeping, vibrating collar that also shocks. I don't plan on using it today but I brought it just in case. Just in case like somehow Gary gets to like cars and he's gonna get hit by a car but we're not even gonna put it on him because I mean the island is <laughs> it's right there and it doesn't look like there's any any way for you to escape Mr. Escape Artist. Now for those of you who've been following the channel for a long time you know I have another dog named Beth. She's actually a very old man and I can promise you although she did want to walk out the door with us this morning she would not have wanted to come along for this ride today. In fact if I brought her along she would have hated me. Don't worry, he's okay. Good boy. Good boy. All right. Hang on, wait, wait, it's okay, it's okay. There you go, you're in a boat, you're doing so good, you're doing such a good job. I know, you can't jump down though. Don't do anything crazy, okay, okay, we're taking off. Yeah, this is good, Bales will be having a heart attack right now, so we're doing pretty good. Okay, first obstacle, I'm sacrificing steering to film. Gary is very interested in the buoy. It's just a buoy. It's just a buoy. Gary, you're turning us the wrong way. We're completely turning the wrong way. Gary wants to attack the buoy. He thinks it's a duck, a bird, a squirrel. I'm at you. Gary actually caught a mouse in my house. Gary, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's a buoy, Gary. It's not gonna be, it might be fun, because you do like plastic toys and stuff. No, Gary, stop, calm down, dude. Oh my God, all right, all right, damage control. I'll, I'll keep you updated. Here we are with a natural garrison in his habitat, prowling on two helpless buoys. Will he kill them today? I don't think so. I think today, they're going to be lucky. They're going to escape. And so, without any further ado, we have hit land. All right, we are on a random island that is uninhabited. He's like, dude, now I don't want to get out anymore, dude. I was having too much fun in there. I want to go bark at the rocks and stuff that look like animals and squirrels. They're not, Gary, come on, let's go. Land ho! Come on! You're doing so good. Come on, you gotta just get out. I'm actually thinking about it. If I teach you to get out of the canoe, you might try and do that on the way back. We may capsize. I may lose all this footage, but at least we had kind of a good time. Come on, Gary, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. Good boy. Now, Gary, before we get started, I am proud to announce that today's video is sponsored by BarkBox's Super Chewer Box. So if you don't know, Super Chewer is a monthly delivery of tough toys, meaty treats, and chews inspired by a new theme tailored to your dog's size, allergies, and diet. Ship for free to your front door, side door. I mean, they can even toss it on the roof for one of those old paper boys that like miss, but I mean, I highly don't recommend that. So hilariously enough, this is actually just a huge coincidence. Super Chewer has just released their off-leash beach-themed box. Now this box has a variety of toys and treats for your puppy to enjoy off-leash at the beach or possibly on leash, you know, if you have an escape artist. Now this will just be the first box you get, but each month you'll get a different box specifically tailored towards what your dog wants. Now the best part is no two Super Chewer boxes are ever the same. Each month's theme inspires new kinds of toys that inspire new ways to play. Each month's Super Chewer box comes with two tough toys plus two full-size bags of all-natural treats and two chews made with healthy, protein-rich ingredients. Now, of course, you're always gonna get free shipping, but if you sign up through my link, you'll receive an exclusive extra toy every month throughout the length of your subscription. Off-leash at the beach. That's you, dude. You're gonna be off-leash today at kind of the beach. It's kind of a beach. It's actually kind of hilarious. I hadn't opened that yet, but that is definitely a sign. So, in the Super Chewer box, we have jerky sticks for Mr. Garrison. He seems very interested in these jerky sticks, so we are gonna have to give him some turkey jerky. What is he thinking? Yeah, that, that that's the chewing mechanism of a fan right there. He's a fan of the jerky turkey. Next up, we have the Mr. Meatball Garrisano duck stick. Duck stick? 
No. All right, so Gary's not much of a duck fan, but what do you think about this? All right, there we go. We're back. Oh crap, that's way too many, dude. You can't have all those. That's, <laughs> I just dumped out the entire bag. And now the best part, check it out. Mr. Garisano, he's obsessed with toys. I don't know how toy-esque he's gonna be today because we're in a new place we're exploring, but oh my God. So these toys are all super heavy duty. I've been buying Bark Super True boxes, actually the bum has, for the past year. She buys them for Cali, and I couldn't believe it when they hit me up because I mean, it's Bark Box. It's like, it's a big deal. Get it, Gary, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Now give me the beach ball back. I want a rich chicken. I want a rich chicken. It's mine. All right, here we go. You really have nowhere to go. So without any further ado, go, here we go. Go, here we go. Get it, get it, get it. All righty, Mr. Meatball, look at him. He's gonna make me go out there and chase him, isn't he? You're not gonna swim away, at least. You can go in the water, but you can't swim away. See, I'm so nervous. I don't want him to escape. I haven't told you guys, but he has escaped a few times. I don't want to make it like a big deal, like, oh, oh crap, like I'm such a bad owner, but he's escaped like three times. Two times it was like a big deal, like he actually got away and I couldn't find him and then he came running back into my yard on his own. That was actually when I first got him. He hasn't escaped in over a year. So it's been a good run and I'm not ready to let that streak die today. I, I don't even know if he wants to escape anymore because he's like super obsessed with me. You have nowhere to go, do you? We're on this little rock. Oh, I really don't want you to go in there. That would suck. You would be gone in there. No, I kind of wanted like an island that I could see him the entire time. He's peeing. Yeah, we're, we're here. All right, you know, I'm gonna lead the way. He'll probably follow me. You know, I've always wanted to be able to take Gary on like a walk through the woods without worrying about him taking off. And I do that with a leash and he never really gives me any kind of vibes that he's just gonna take off. But I, I just wanna get more comfortable with it. I wanna get him more comfortable with it. And I wanna get myself more comfortable with it. And then eventually we can put like a tracker collar on him and probably never actually let him go because I'm scared like a bear's gonna kill him and attack him and rip his face off and he's about to go poop. You're gonna go poop? And I don't have a poop bag. I didn't bring it, we're on a deserted island, bro. I don't need a poop bag. Are you gonna go poop in the ocean? That'd be like hilarious. It'd float up on someone's dock. They'd be enjoying their sandwich and your poop's just floating up. And they're gonna be like, that's Gary's poopies. I can sniff them from a mile away. You know, they stink. Come on, come on, Gary, you can't swim. Then why are you trying to swim? Come on, let's go. Oh my god, Gary, you can't even be trusted. Update, Gary's pooping. You're pooping on the island and I'm not gonna do I feel like I should pick it up, but I'm not going to. I mean, literally, deserted island. There is a nice mansion over there, but I mean, deserted island. Look at Gary, dude, Bales would never want to do this. And I love Bales, we take Bales on plenty of Bales adventures, but today's Gary's day. It's time for Gary, I mean, Bales wouldn't even really appreciate this because she's like, bro, I'm not running away either way. And I can't even walk, I can't even do anything on this island. Oh, here he goes, he's gonna go. He's, oh crap, I'm slipping. Everything. Gary, why are you so obsessed with going? Gary, come here. Gary, come on, what are you doing? Hey. Oh my God. Okay, come on, go, get out. Okay, you know what? <laughs> That's not a good idea. Yeah, we definitely need a better island because, I mean, there's, just, there's nowhere to go. It's like a poison ivy island. We're gonna call this poison ivy rock. It's just all poison ivy and like thorns and then there's just water which Gary doesn't mess with water. So, <laughs> yeah. If you guys know a good island around here, I'm in Rhode Island. It's a pretty small area, pretty tiny state. If you know a better island, let me know and I'll definitely go there. Okay, you know what, Gary? I'm sorry, this was kind of a failed mission, but we do have treats and treats make you feel better, don't they? They make Bales feel better. He's not as like treat oriented as Bales is, but he, he does love, he loves his special treats. Okay, we're gonna do the thumbnail. So we're gonna make Gary stay and wait. And now, <gasps> Kiki! All right, so how are we gonna do this? You gonna hop in on your own? Dude, I'll be super impressed. Bez would never in a million years. I mean, you know, Bez is still like, you know, the OG amazing. Oh my God, Gary. Like he's literally like a travel dog, bro. I mean, obviously I will admit Bez is my OG. She's like my city of brotherly love, my Philly cheesesteak sandwich, but you're like a totally different kind of sandwich. You know, you're like a pastrami Reuben. Like you like to go for crazy adventures. Bez likes to go roll around in the grass. Bez likes to go for walks. You like to get the ball. Bales loves to eat yummies. You just like to eat very special treats. So, you know, it's like, you guys are like different, but you like to cuddle together. So it's amazing. You guys are like two peas in a pod, except you're outside of the pod and Bez is the pod because you know, Bez is a little bit fat. Dude, I am so itchy. It's like insane, dude. It's all, it's happening. I see poison ivy everywhere. That's literally poison ivy island. I would not recommend coming here. Okay, very interesting update. I was up there on the bench, but, but we saw, we saw a buoy and Gary, 
<laughs> Gary, he lost. I mean, this this was not his buoy. Like the other ones were okay, but this was not Gary's buoy, dude. He literally wanted to kill the buoy, and he almost flipped this over. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? He does that when he sees like a squirrel, but he's just being obnoxious. Okay, so the moral of the story is that was a little bit ridiculous. Boy, oh boy, this is crazy timing. It looks like Cal's just got home from her surgery. Can we see the cows? Is it visiting hours for the cows or is it like blurry cows? This is not the same cows that I dropped off this morning. This is like a sleepy tired version. No, 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 we're not playing. We're not playing. I know you see me and you're like, we're gonna go play. And we're not gonna go, I do have a super chewer box. But you can't play with it right now. You can play with it in like, what, two weeks? One week? Couple weeks. Couple weeks. You can play with it sometime. Look at you, yeah, for now you can just take a nap. Check it out guys, I've been working on some grass. We got some grass back here, bro, for the biz to roll around in. And she's been rolling. She really has been. Okay, trigger warning, just for documentational purposes. Biz is really interested, too. We got to take a look at this incision. What do we got down here? Oh, bro, check it out. Do you guys remember the Bales' wounds from when she got her tumors removed on the back of her legs? That was actually a really good surgery because those never came back. And they were both tested positive as cancerous and they were supposed to come back. The doctor warned us they were going to come back and they never came back. But the Bales did get some in other places and we removed them, blah, blah, blah. Which means that the Bales' Dr. Yang is a very good doctor. And the Bales does not have her anymore because she's in California. And the Bales is here. But the Bales is a big butt. And I want to smack it. So the past couple hours I've been thinking about it and I realized how dangerous that could have been with Gary going in the water. It was just kind of not supervised as much as it should have been. And I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to do that again. And I, I've been worried about Gary for the past couple hours. I've just been hanging out with him, monitoring him, making sure that he was okay. Because, I mean, he was out there. It looked like he made a breathe in a little bit of water. But so far, he's been fine. So I'm just going to continue to keep a close eye on him over the next couple days. He should be good, but if any symptoms are to appear, I'm going to rush him to the vet and spend a million dollars, which would suck, but it'd be worth it because we love our Mr. Meatball, Mr. Garrison, if I and of course, you know you know how we do it with the bales. We're always taking a $1,000 surgery. It is what it is. That's what you get when you get some puppy dogs, and it's all worth it. And we have a, a bag of poop because we had one poop bag left, so now we're like doing a transfer. It's kind of disgusting. You don't want to hear about that.